to plot my way into your clique of lies I saved They've been to find a way to the place I thought was fine to take In my mind I could see the date Every pony knows my name With no shame ain't guiding the flame Hello everyone, my name is Sergeant Spitfire and welcome back to my channel for today I'm doing a fan reaction. Today I'm doing totally legit recaps by DWK and I'm doing three of them. I asked him on Twitter if I could do them. He never came back to me so DWK if you're watching please don't hurt me. And today we're doing Celestial Vice, uh, All Bottled Up and Flurry of Emotion. So what do I think of Celestial Vice? It was a good episode. During my reaction, I don't think I really said anything about Celestia's character, but I really gave her some nice character development, even though, you know, we never had any character development by from Princess Celestia, so really good. I bought it up, gave us some more uh, Trixie and Starlight shipping fuel, which is good. And it was still a hard episode. We got a okay song in it. Um, yeah, uh, now on to Flurry of Emotion. It, it was, uh, I can't. Uh, but I think it's a this is my reaction as well, but it was a super cute episode. No matter who you are, you think, yeah, that episode was super cute with Twilight and Flurry. And this, the B plot with, uh, Cadence and Shiny Armor was still pretty funny. So, yeah, I can't wait to see what he does. This guy is always a funny guy and does some crazy shit. So, without further ado, let's just get in there. Here we go. Yeah, so, Spike's all. Uh, so, what are you wearing? And Glimmy's like, uh, nothing, dude. I'm fucking naked. No, but yeah. I meant for when you get your award. It's a dual ceremony, man. You're getting a medal of honor for defeating that big screechy bug bitch and a yeah. Grammy for best new rap single. And Glimmy's like, uh, yeah, I know the rapper. what happened. I was kind of there. Well, god fucking damn it, Starlight. <laughs> You're stealing my jokes now. I'm the one who's supposed to make fun of exposition. That's <laughs> Very my true. Game. Where exactly do you get wow. off janking my go-to routine? Now I actually have to try to be funny instead of just making the same joke over and over again and banking on the fact that my viewers are all too drunk or entangled in their own depression to notice. Anyway, yep. who cares? See, Spike was just distracting Glimmer so that Twiggy could sneak into her bedroom without permission and make sure there's enough room above her dresser for a mirror when, yeah, there is yeah, enough room. Because, pretty much. You know, there's, it's like a huge fucking wall and there's nothing on it seriously twilight you could have just done a little harmless stealthy observation like why not make some tea or mix up some hot toddies or whatever and just yeah. knock on glimmy's door one morning and be like hey sister you want a drink then you could just sit there have a nice talk with your friend slash student and examine any walls to your heart's content without having to orchestrate this whole subterfuge and invade her personal space quite literally behind her back that's a but good you know idea what, twilight i give you too much shit and i can't even stay mad because you're such a fuck sweetheart. See, Purple may be a little odd in her methods, but all she wants is to give Glimmy a mirror with pictures of her loved ones on it, just like she has. The first Very true. thing she'll see when she wakes up is herself surrounded by all her friends. I'm gonna be honest, the first time I heard that line I teared up, and even though as of this recording I've watched this episode 20 some odd times, it just keeps happening. And I thought to myself, you know, I should totally it's have cute something moment, like but that. I never did I'd that. love to wake up and see myself surrounded by all all those good friends that I totally have. Uh, so, the yeah, award of ceremony from the ending of A New Hope happens, and of course, Discord has to act like a fucking dick in the middle of it. That's expected. What blows me away is that Glimmy actually gets a giggle out of it while yeah, everyone okay else is moment. scowling and rolling their eyes. I know the elements of harmony don't even fucking matter anymore, but I still can't help but constantly wonder what Glim Glam's element would have been if she was part of the old school clique, and oddly enough, hmm. this would be an interesting. Moment Idea. Was the final piece of the puzzle for me. Starlight is the element of empathy. She's perfectly content to hang out with all the folks I that I nobody could, else I can see that with or yeah, tolerate. Sunburst that. is a neat, Trixie is a narcissistic cunt, Discord is a nigh intolerable asshole, and Mod is so severely autistic that nobody gets her. Glimmer seems to have some residual sociopathic tendencies as a result of her absolute clusterfuck of a past, but at the same very time, true, it's true. clear that she has the ability to appreciate those 
those individuals with whom the majority of people just can't deal. I can yeah, spout a bunch true. of meaningless conjecture as to why this is the case, but I'd rather just say that I aspire to have that same level of understanding and compassion, and I constantly fail at it. Oh, shit, everyone, look shoot, who it is, Vinyl. That. Man, I love Vinyl. I know she used <laughs> wow. to be a fandom mascot or whatever, and I think you guys can probably tell I'm not exactly the type of guy who cruises through town blasting proud to be a brony with the windows down, but I'm not going to fucking lie. I loved Epic wow. Club time back in the day, and I but still ship the fuck out of Vinyl and Octavia. Also, if you get a chance, read University Day. Oh, okay, we got off track right. there. So Fan Celestia's hanging ring. around slamming down some shots and twice all, wow, dude, thank God for Starlight. Now I know how you feel every time you get your shit kicked in off camera and you have to wait for me to come save you. And the big white slut with the big round butt is like, yeah, dude, how wow. do you feel to just completely get your ass whipped? And twice all, my cheeks are sore. <laughs> anyway, wow. Discord's being a conniving, manipulative piece of garbage as usual, and he's all so Twilight, your precious little glimmy glam saved the world, huh? Yeah, dude, I'm so fucking proud of her. You do realize what this means, though, right? Uh, yeah, we got a great excuse to get hammered. No, it means that she's True. achieved both reformation and redemption, and her character arc is over. So what? My character arc ended in season three, and I'm still here. It's because you started True. a new one immediately afterwards, dumbass. Also, you have main character privileges. Look, all I'm saying is that if you True. don't find True. a new immediate narrative purpose for Starlight, she might get written off the show or worse she might become an obnoxious one note gag character that just appears occasionally to act as comic relief or a plot device oh sweet fucking christ she's gonna become you it's a fate worse than death <laughs> wow so grabs her princess superior with the giant posterior and she's <laughs> wow like, dude how do i start the next chapter of my student's character development before she gets relegated to a side character what would you do? Uh, I mean, I sent you off to Ponyville, and that started this show, and I completely flubbed it with Sunset Shimmer, and that started another franchise, so I seem to have really good luck with this kind of shit, but Very from my true. experience, it seems like kicking bitches out yields pretty good results. And twice all. Which means it's time for me to send Starlight Glimmer away! And then suddenly we were all paying very, very close attention, weren't we? Anyway, yeah. first with the prospect of sending Glimmy off Tessie to start everyone. her own series, Twilight tries to come Set up me. with the really like Starlight for a spin-off. And she's like, okay, we could send her to help Steve teach the changelings how to Steve. not be assholes. I like how his name is still Steve. Steve. Now, I would like to have sex tonight, but I want to save myself for marriage. What should we do? Rape him. Compromise <laughs> his virginity. Oh, Rape man, him. You got a lot of work to do. Uh, Enough work God for a damn it. seasons, at least, don't you think? And Spike's all, dude, none of this don't would ever Steve. happen. Starlight likes cooch smooching Trixie, and even if she didn't, Steve would never turn down pussy. Trust me, dude might seem like a fruit, but he is hungry for that shit. And Thunderbuns is like, This is Twilight's <laughs> wow. fantasy, Spike. There's Still. There's no wrong way to fantasize. Yeah. That line gave that me a line. nice little chuckle at first, but then I realized that this is the part where every single person who commentates on this show in any capacity says something like, mm -hmm, if you could see my porn folder, you wouldn't be saying that. <laughs> oh, wow. And my advice to those people would simply be, Shut up! Shut up! Oh, wow, you're such a pervert because you whack your dick to those fudas or some lollycon or whatever. Ho! Boy, you sure are living on the edge. Did you go on the deep webs to get that stuff? Ooga fucking booga. How terrifying. Sorry, guys, but it's the current year, and that shit's just normal now, so you can stop jerking yourselves off over what you jerk off to. Thank anyway, you. imaginary glim glam's like, you see, the answer to this conundrum is called butt sex. Butt sex? Yep, when you do it in the butt, it's still sex, but technically, it doesn't count. Compromise. What? <laughs> All right, so, then. So, they snap back to reality. Steve. Oh, there goes gravity, and Celestia's like, Twilight, the spaghetti? there's no wrong way to fantasize, but anal counts. That's just a fact. Well, I wish you would have told me that sooner. And Spike's wow. like, oh, Twilight, why don't you just talk to Starlight about this instead of spurging out and literally getting lost inside your own head. It'd probably be faster and easier. And Celestia's like, This is a momentous decision. 
You must consider all the possibilities. And I'm sitting here like, uh, hey, snow globes. I think that's wow. what she's doing right now. Yeah, Despite wait. this episode this being called to... Celestial what? Advice, I don't really hear any actual advice coming from anyone but Spike. You know, I've said it before. The common sense switch is always either in the Spike position or the Twilight position. But you know what position it's never, ever in? Then Twiggy's like, oh my god, I got it. I can send Starlight to go be Ember's roommate at Dragon College. Dragon College. Starlight! So, you ready to do some death-defying dragon stuff? Oh, and I'm just like, dude, yeah. why do they sound so normal all of a sudden? But then Twiggers is all, wait, what if she starts hanging out with Garble, though? She could turn into a huge faggot. And Spike's like, dude, she's already gay. What's that have to do with anything, Spike? Are you insinuating wow. that all gay people are faggots? That's just homophobic, man. Yo, Dwight, how about this? Send her to go live with Sunburst. They got a bunch of fucked up emotional history together. Boom. It's a perfect premise. Holy shit, you're right. All right, problem solved. Now you can go talk to Star light and clear all this up Wait, no dude sunburst is a lonely perma virgin what if he like red pills the fuck out of her and they get <laughs> wow. into some edgy occult bullshit and celestia's like <laughs> and twice like Are you laughing at me? and celestia's all oh twilight i'm not Dude, fuck you. That just means that, yeah, you are laughing at me, but you're too much of a bitch nigga to uh, own up to it. I came to you nigga. because I was upset and needed advice, trolling, and all I you guess. did was state the obvious and then make fun of me. You know, I'm glad you sent my ass away because I've learned more from my friends here in a few short years than I did in the entire time I was with your big, fat, white... Ass. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Why do you think I did it? I may be incredibly ditzy and immature for an ancient demigod, but if there's one thing I do know, it's how utterly inadequate I am. Look, I know you still maintain this, like, childlike wonder and reverence towards me, but time and time a fucking gin, you've proven yourself to be more intelligent, capable, and powerful than Very I true. The only legit advice I can give you is to do what you think is best, because whatever that is, it'll be a better idea than anything I could come up with. It's like, like yeah, yeah, nice speech, very emotional. Look, I'm gonna fix this whole thing right now. There we go. Oh shit, I should just go talk to Glimmer about this, huh? Yeah, and once you're done Very with true. that, we're flipping it back. It's my turn this week. So Twiggy's like, all right, you assholes, listen up. Dude, Glimps, you did good, kid. As far as ways to prove you're a cool chick, saving the world is pretty high up there on the list. I love you, true. man, but I get that living in my attic might not be your only ambition in life, so I'm declaring you officially reformed, redeemed, and released. If you decide to go start your own spinoff, please, for the love of Celestia's giant ass, take Discord with you. And Glimmy's all, dude, I don't want to leave this place. This is the first time in my entire adult life that I've had stable, healthy relationships, and yeah, I did one Very true. thing right, but other than having low enough standards to form my own crew out of Equestria's social rejects, I fucked up pretty much everything else. You might think I'm Again, ready to leave, man, true. but I sure as fuck don't. I don't either, dude. Discord just planted the idea in my mind and my autism carried it to its logical conclusion. Man, fuck you, Discord, you shaft-shining schlong goblin. Why do you always have to be such an asshole? Hey, don't bust my balls too hard. It made for a great episode. Very true. You sure are lucky that I understand your value as a plot device. If I lacked that meta awareness, there would be literally no reason to forgive you for stuff like this. Wow. Anyway, Starlight and Princess Sparkle hug it out and Glimmy's all yeah, so it's... Twilight. How do you feel yeah, about me just staying here and being part of the main cast? And Twilight's like Long and hard Oh Twilight Next episode. I'm a smooth pimple who loves the pussy. And tell me here's my black man servant. What? Okay, what was that? Oh, I bought it up. Okay, so, Glimmy's like, light. hey, Trixie, are you mad at that salt shaker or something? 
And Trixie's all, dude, I can see this punchline coming like a trillion wow. ton asteroid. Can you please just yeah. not do it? I was just wondering why you seem so salt. I said don't, don't fucking do it. do it. Well, you're just no fun today, are you? Look, just help me turn this salt into crystal. Sure, just picture the crystal in your mind. I mean, technically salt already is a crystal, but I'm assuming yeah. you're talking about amethyst or... Uh, no, I meant like meth. Trixie, wow. you can't just start doing meth. What do you mean start? I run around in a cape referring to myself in the third person and doing stage magic in a world where magic actually exists. Yeah, she's Did on you something. Think I wasn't on speed. Anyway, Glimmy distracts Trixie from drugs by teaching her how to make shit into teacups, and Magician Horse is so happy that she gets a little frisky and makes Glamour blast a load all over her hot buns or wow. whatever, and she's all. And I'm like, dude, Glims, you aren't fooling anyone. Anyway, Twiggles and the crew are leaving for the weekend to attend a friendship philosophy synergy seminar, and Glimmer's like, sorry, man. Man, I was trying to send you guys off with some bomb ass fucking tea cakes, but Trixie maybe jizz all over them. Uh, I appreciate the thought, but I need to know that. And yeah. so Trixie's like, yo, take these pretzels, man. Oh, how thoughtful. Thanks. We will not get hungry on the train. All right, so hold on a second here. Yeah, home baked tea cakes would be a hell of a lot better than a bag of pretzels, but yeah. Twilight acts True. like this is some kind of insult. What the fuck? What is wrong with pretzels, man? If I was about to go on a train ride and my buddy, who came to see me off no less, because that's a wonderfully considerate gesture yeah. in and of itself, gave me a bag of pretzels and said, hey bro, I wanted to make They're sure you didn't too. get hungry on your trip. I'd probably start fucking crying. Are standards really so fucking high in Equestria that you're expected to provide nothing less than fresh baked goods to feed your friends on their day trips? Yeah. I honestly thought Glimmy was just being neurotic and overcompensatory, but she was so mom's gone for the day and Trixie's like, hey dude, how about it? And Glimmy's wow. like, maybe we should start with something smaller. Anyway, they finish their lesbian pony pussy pounding and Trixie's all, okay, we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. I've got all the equipment in my wagon, but we can set it up here and if we move this table out of the- Wait, what are you talking wow. about? I'm just gonna cook some meth in your mentor's throne room. You, you don't mind, right? And Glimmy's like, oh my god, Spike, what the fuck is wrong with her? And Spike's all, bro, she tried to kill herself the day you guys met. If you you didn't see this coming, yeah. I got no sympathy for you. Oh god, what do I do? Is there even more than one option? Go tell her to cut this shit out! Wait, yeah. no, I have the best idea ever. I'll just pretend that nothing's wrong. I'll just take any perceptions of Trixie that don't jive with my fantastical romantic ideal of her and stick wow. them in this bottle. You know, the tweaker's right. You really are mini Twilight. I already went through this bullshit with one autistic purple horse. Why do I have to do it again? And Rarity's like, I'm going to start with a facial. Nice first piece of dialogue yeah. for the season rare. 10 out of 10. This is another one of those times where the joke is so easy I can't even bring myself to make it. Yeah. And if you're wondering, hey DWK, why is it that these instances only seem to happen with rarity? My answer to you would be Shut up. And Twiggy's <laughs> wow. like, alright guys, together we can solve the puzzle. So Trixie drags Glimmy to every store in town looking for some pseudo ephedrine, but nobody sells that shit anymore because, you know, people use it to yeah. make meth. God fucking damn it, I used to love that stuff. It's an extremely effective nasal decongestant, and if you Never take used like it. three or four times the recommended dose, you can get a pretty kick-ass buzz off of it. Then you fucking tweakers had to come and ruin everything. Now all I can get is that phenol ephrine crap and it doesn't fucking work. Anyway, That's the good. bottle that like Glim Glam's all. using Fuck to pills. contain all her negative emotions gets busted and it does not surprise me at all that Trixie can cause enough rage and disappointment to fill three people. Also, Very hey, true. Starlight. Starlight. Maybe if you're gonna be carrying around a bunch of destructive magical energy that can possess people, you should put it in anything other than glass. Yeah. Did you like not find a plastic water bottle or something? I love this song both because it's catchy as hell and for what it represents. It's a great song in its own right, but at the same time, it's, it's a poking great song. fun at one of the core it's, conventions no, no. of this show. It's in the That's air, what's in the area. It really should be. Great. It doesn't have to be some cynical disenchantment with constant edgy sarcasm and a bunch of memes. You can yeah. be genuine without True. taking yourself seriously. This whole scene is a gag, yes, but the joke isn't yeah, that Twilight yeah. and the girls aren't best friends. Of course they are. It's that's that my problem with it. Was numbers more of the gag occur moment. in universe and are just as jarring to anyone there is someone breaking out into if song it wasn't the gag i would really like the song is we're just getting something here the gag really sincere drew it down and for funny, me but it's a good song humor doesn't detract from the heart y'all know i try to give that whole analysis thing a wide berth but sometimes i gotta give credit
credit where credit is due, and this is very well done. So, Gloomy finally blows her stack on Trixie, and like we see the, the return of that moment. neck vein. Is there right look, support, look at that. You know? Right there, it's almost like her head is a giant penis or something. Making that joke again. And all, dude, why didn't you just tell me how you felt from the beginning? How the hell was I supposed to know? Because any decent person should already know that being a passive-aggressive selfish bitch and doing meth is unacceptable behavior. Uh, right. Yeah. Any decent person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look, I just learned like a year ago that mind-raping people isn't okay. I'm not it's used not okay. to being the responsible one in any given outfit. Yeah, but I mean if it wasn't for you, I'd be manticore shit right now, so you must be doing Doing something right well you're still shit yeah but i'm your shit you know why i can never stay mad right. at you because you're so fucking romantic and so glim glam learns a lesson that most of us don't figure out until our 30s and a lot of people never don't even don't you tell i rub a pen hole or no relationship doesn't start when you first meet someone and you're both pretending that you're cool and perfect it starts when you realize how much they suck and you got to decide if you're gonna commit to putting up with their bullshit oh, very so nice Trixie yeah, actually very says this shit the star yeah i love is passionate lively yeah this Sometimes angry. It was the great. Oh, wow. So if you think I'm misusing the word relationship, fucking eat me. So the gals get back from their thing, and I know the character models for the show haven't changed at all in the past seven years, but I swear okay. Rarity looks like she's wearing more eyeliner in this shot. I guess it's just the angle. It yes, might be. I pay attention to this stuff. And twice all of, what's with all the suit of Oh, oh, uh, Trixie had Enough a really thing. bad cold. I mean, she was just horking up bucket loads of snot, and I had to take her temperature rectally like 20 times wow. in one day. All right, once again, didn't need to know that. Just wanted to make sure you guys aren't like cooking meth or something. Psst, you know, no meth us? here. Meth? No. no meth no. here. And Trixie's no all back at and all. she's on to us. Can you just cast a spell and make her forget she saw that? And Gloomy's like, Haven't you learned anything about using magic to solve your problems? And Trixie's all, No. If we learn that lesson, how will we ever have fun? Trixie, wow. you've officially broken my gimmick. There is no parody I could write that would make you sound more oblivious and reprehensible than you actually are. 10 out Very of 10. True. 10 out of fucking 10. You guys don't need me anymore. I I quit. Peace. Oh, quit. We need you. All right, next episode. Last episode. This uh, reaction. Flurry of emotions. All right, so Nurse Redheart is like, Twilight, you gotta help me. An entire class at Ponyville Elementary just came down with derpies. And Twilight's wow. like, you know, I've never heard of that. What's it do? Well, it gives you a nasty rash, but it also causes rapid, irreversible brain damage. We've only got about three hours before all these kids are literally retarded, and they'll probably be dead by the end of the day. Spike, go get Starlight and make her deal with this. Dude, Twilight, Glimmer's been in Trixie's wagon ever since they made <laughs> okay. up last week, and the last time I walked by that thing, I almost fucking puke. There's a fog bank of cigarettes, whiskey, and girl jizz for half a mile around that Whoa. thing. Fine, I'll help the terminally ill children. Never mind what Twilight wanted to do today. She just wanted to go get groceries and then have a bath and a glass of wine. But no, the dying kids had other plans. And Shiny's all, hey Twily, how's it been fam? Oh yeah, this looks like a social call. What the fuck do you yeah. guys want? And Candy is like, Twilight, much please just take her for a night. We just want to go out for dinner and we haven't had sex in four months. Oh, four months, huh? Four whole months, yeah. you poor dears. I haven't gotten any dicks since you and those glitter-covered tarts sent me through that fucking mirror. How about you two deal with an entire country's interpersonal squabbles for a day so I can go get laid? And Flurry Heart's like, Twilight's sister of my father, it is good to see you once more. <laughs> wow. I never know true joy or sorrow as a pure being can, but would that I could feel the affection mortals do. You would be its recipient. And Twiggy's like, alright, fine, but only because she's so cute. Who's my favorite demonically tainted little cooch potato. And wow. Katie's like, thanks, bro. We owe you one. Oh, you owe me a lot more than one, bitch. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, here's baby food, souls, extra souls, and oh, wow. backup extra souls. Oh, and this is the most important thing of all, her whammy. Uh, what's a whammy? Witchcraft aided malice mollification implement. It has wow. a few charms on it that help soothe the rage of her tormented spirit. Anyway, thanks, Twilight. We'll see you tonight. Anyway, so they fuck off, and Flurry's like, Twilight. Just again. <laughs> we have time for a quick game. 
So, the common sense switch is in the spike position today, and he's all, God Very damn true. it, dude, quit fucking around, or Ponyville's gonna have eight more retarded children. Do you want that to happen because your womb was overcompensating for the fact that it'll never be used? And Twas wow. like, oh, Spike, if ignorance is bliss, then being retarded must be fantastic. You know. Fine. God, Jesus fucking Christ, I'm never gonna fucking break around. So they have to go to the magic supply store to get ingredients for a potion to cure the syphilitic children, and Twizzles is like, man, I always forget where they keep the powdered manticore scrotum around here. And the royal wow. loin goblin is like, Auntie Twilight, please, I beseech thee. My developing cerebrum requires a stimulation. So Twilight decides what? to have a cart race to entertain the demon baby, and much like the last cart race we saw on this show, it ends in small children almost being killed i'm just gonna Very say it true. right now ponies should not be allowed to have carts of any kind if you want to race you can just fucking run and you can carry your groceries in a basket or whatever nothing with wheels <laughs> except trixie's wagon and only because i don't think that thing's moving wow. anytime soon other than rocking back and forth so princess purple has to buy this entire display's worth of voodoo dolls that the devil rat knocked over and she's like god damn it what am i gonna do with all of these i haven't needed this many voodoo dolls since that time i tried speed dating anyway despite Wow. Spike's protests on behalf of these kids' rapidly dwindling IQs, Twilight stops to hit on Cheerily, because, let's be honest, who wouldn't? And she's wow. like, hey, Cheerily, you got any tips for dealing with kids? I'm trying to take care of some shit, and this one's being a huge pain in the ass. Twilight, you know, you could just get a babysitter, right? I am the babysitter. Oh, well, you just don't know what that word means, then, do you? And Flurry's like... <laughs> And Cheer wow. is like, oh, great, I'll just write that entire fucking lesson out again with my fucking mouth. Because, you know, I'm an earth pony who doesn't even have magic, let alone demigod tier alicorn magic. And Twas, oh, yeah, god, that really sucks. Yep, magic sure would make this easier. Hint, hint. Oh, Wait, wow. You, are you talking to me? 10 out of 10, Twilight. Yeah, 10 I out think Twilight should at least 10. help. Meanwhile, Shiny and Candy are at a mixer hanging out with his old college roommate and Big Mac stunt double <laughs> Shaft Head. And wow. Shaft Head's like, oh my god, look at you, Shiny. You were such a fucking dweeb back in the day. Now you're cooking your buns in the world's hottest oven, bruh. If you guys ever want a wife swap, I'm your guy, man. You're not married, dude. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, whatever, right? Yo, I'll be back in a sec. I'm gonna grab a some jello shots and shiny's like hey babe this is fun right Very and cadence fun. is like dear i feel old and not even in a bad way come on we got the whole night let's try to have fun fine but if he refers to my vagina again in any way i'm tying his cock in a knot yeah okay you're right let's get the fuck out of here so twiggy ramirez <laughs> wow. stops at Ponker's place to grab some treats to console the little fillies and colts as they go through the painful intravenous treatment for what is now late stage derpies of course candy jr over here fucks with the baby Baby cakes and trashes the shop and purple's like oh shit man sorry yeah. about that look i'll make it up to you i'll get you some of your favorite baked goods as an i'm sorry present and pinky's like oh okay i'll just go make those for myself then thanks twilight no problem love you bro <laughs> so twice only yeah. 10 minutes to get to the hospital and mix up the cure before the children literally go full retard and she's booking it like a bat out of hell with spike clinging to the front of the stroller for dear life and he's like uh twilight stop for a sec i need to get off this thing god damn it spike we can't Stop her, we'll be too late. But Twilight wow. is bouncing and rubbing up against my. Uh, 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 oh, wow. Gross, Spike. My bad. Also, god damn it, now we know who ate all those pineapples I was saving for pina coladas. You wow. fucking owe me. Anyway, they get to the hospital with seconds to spare and manage to save these poor bastards from a life of eating glue and crayons. So Twiggy's reading to the kids to distract them from the nausea and possibility of kidney failure, and Flurry's like, Anti Twilight, I've cursed this cake with sentience it knows <laughs> only pain just like i do when you ignore me please end this agony of neglect and perps is all right now, Flurry. and flurry's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the devil child is overcome by the demonic taint left on her oh, soul wow. during its eternal torment at the hands of the old gods and twilight has to do the unthinkable yell at her and then she's like oh wait this is probably my fault for dragging a magically unstable one-year-old around on a bunch of errands while simultaneously setting a bad behavioral example and completely ignoring her also now yeah. that i think about it i probably shouldn't have brought her into a room full of kids with a contagious disease yeah. anyway where he gets all saddy pants and twice like dude 
dude, look, I'm sorry I snapped at you, okay? I took on too much responsibility and I got overwhelmed, so I couldn't give you the attention you needed. I fucked up and I'm really sorry. The emotions and concerns of the unwoken are but frivolities to me, yet the mind of this nascent mortal prison compels me to forgive your folly. Just give me my fucking whammy and we'll call it good. And so everything's <laughs> fine. The lesson here is that if your newborn child throws a tantrum and you lose your shit and end up terrorizing her, all you have to do is explain yourself in a calm, logical manner and then apologize. Yes. Babies are reasonable people, ladies and gentlemen. So they get home and Shiny and Candy show up and Perps is all, whoa, you guys are back early. And they're like, yeah, it turns out we're old and boring now. We kept thinking we were missing wow. out on all the stuff we used to do and the social life we used to have, but it turns out we're just happy being lame and living life as a family. We're dead on the outside, but alive on the inside, and that's a hell of a lot better than the other way around. Very and true. It's like, man, I learned something too. Children may be demonic monstrosities sometimes, but they're still people, just tiny stupid people. You gotta treat them right Very instead true. of a good example, and when they fuck up, it's probably more your fault than theirs. Well said, Twily. Well said. Still, I don't think I'm ever gonna have any. Oh, Twilight, you're still young. I, you, you could probably find someone. I meant by choice, you fucking oh, bitch. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's it. See you guys in the outro. Well, that was totally re recaps. Uh, DWK, you're still a fucking awesome person. Uh, yeah, I, I can see what he said about the song. It's not really one of my favorite songs, but it's still a good song in my opinion. I can see where he's coming from with uh, Starlight's Helmet, the Infancy. She hangs out with these people knowing that they're pretty much dickheads to her and dickheads to everyone, but she still was like, yeah, these fucks are my friends, so she's like, yeah, I'll hang out with them. Um, she didn't really talk about Princess Lacia that much. Uh, I still think that episode really delves into her character a lot more than they ever have, but I can see where Dee's coming from, where she didn't really give advice, she just told him a weird story and never really give that much advice it was just Spike doing it to her which boy reversal there but uh still good episode uh next was uh all bottled up very true with the uh Trixie why did you use a glass bottle instead of something not destructive and yeah I I still lo really love that episode one of my favorites of uh season 7 so far plus you know uh, the perfect pair is up there as well, but that one's very nice because it did really give uh, Starlight and Trixie some really good shipping fuel. So, and then Flurry of Emotions is we're still talking about uh, Flurry being a demigod, and excuse me, I just burped like that. And yeah, it's, it's still a cute episode, where I'm not, not really one of my favorites, but it's still super cute, and I enjoy watching it sometimes. I haven't actually watched. Um, these episodes over again. Uh, I used to just watch reactors react to it, so I kind of counted or really watch them on my own. So, yeah. And like I said, DWK, I did uh, ask you on Twitter, so if you see this, please, please don't hate me. I'm sorry. Please. Um, so, that was uh, the uh, these episodes. And I'm probably going to do the, uh, uh, the other um, three more others maybe next week or tomorrow so i uh, hope you guys fucking enjoyed this fucking video and reaction whatever you want to fucking call it go subscribe to dwk and eat fucking penis peace out you want this ball raised i'll show you all the meaning of velocity when i step on the stage there's no copying me no stopping me i want trick pony at least i know just what i'm good at we're flailing on the ground just like a blank flank just stop that just get back there's more to us than meets the fucking eye we're not some ragtag tool to disappoint we will surprise everyone who tries to fight and come at us without had it time to make the crowd